Cirrus Stratus Cumulimbus. There are all kinds of clouds, but the one making headlines doesn't have a silver lining. Cloud computing is really revolutionizing the way that people access their programs and all their information. You have names like Apple, Google, and Facebook, and they're banking their futures on the cloud. But not everybody has heard about it. So we decided to send a camera crew downtown and find out what people know about the cloud. And here's how it turned out. The cloud is an off-site storing device for like pictures, music, documents. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's an Apple thing. Is it like, kind of like a Windows? Something you use to store information. It stores music and content. It's an off-site way for you to store files or applications or, you know, securely, not on your premises. It's commonly used as a term for where you would store data, applications, and things that are outside of your own network. Isn't that the thing where, like, you you put your pictures in and it kind of takes it and it carries it above like a cloud and then when you have this other computer you can take your pictures from the cloud and load it onto your computer so it kind of holds your, your stuff. Something where you can upload documents and other files but it's not on a physical storage device. That's where you can store information uh, online uh, like virtual, virtually. It's a virtual place where all of your data resides. Where you um, save stuff. I think it's over the internet. Offline on the server somewhere. I can retrieve it, my internet, my data from the internet. Where you just like store like photos or videos and you can just get it on your iPad, on your iPhone, on your Mac and like you just like sync it all together. I don't really know exactly what it does but I have it. Think of the cloud as your very own piece of real estate on the internet where you can save your music, your files, your movies, your photos, your documents and so much more. And because it's on the internet you have access to it anywhere you have a connection. You have Apple's iCloud, Google's Drive, Google Docs, Amazon's Cloud Player, and Microsoft Office 365. Each offers cloud computing. The biggest names in the technology industry are betting big on the cloud. The cloud is also the best possible place to store your backup. You see, when you back up to the cloud, your data is kept securely off-site, and you have access to your backup files from anywhere. Carbonite is the official backup service of my national radio show. I used it even before they became an advertiser. Carbonite automatically and continuously backs up your irreplaceable data to the cloud. Whenever you add or change a file, Carbonite backs it up. You'll never have to think about it again. Plus, Carbonite gives you access to your backed up files from any computer or smartphone with free apps. You can try Carbonite free for 15 days and then get two free bonus months with a paid subscription. Simply go to Carbonite.com and use my name, Kim, as your promo code. It really is a free trial, no credit cards required. The cloud isn't just for backup, it's also ideal for syncing files across all your devices. Carbonite has developed a new file syncing and sharing technology that they call Currents. Currents automatically syncs your files across all your devices, no matter where you save them. You don't need to save files to a certain folder. Anything that you're currently working on goes right into your Currents list. So you can keep working on any device that has Currents installed. Currents also makes it really easy to share files and collaborate with coworkers from right within the app. It's really slick. This project is still in beta testing, but you can try it now. Simply go to labs.carbonite.com and download the free app for your computers, your smartphones, and your tablets. And do me a favor, share this video with your family and friends. And for everything digital, simply visit my website, commando.com. I'm Kim Commando, and thanks for watching.